Are you mad at me? You know, you could have killed me slugging me in the gut when I wasn't ready. That's how Houdini died, you know. Hello, this is Mark Leslie, and welcome to Free Friday Frights for Friday, November 23rd. As you probably guessed from the opening clip, this Friday's Free Friday Frights is going to be about the death of Houdini. Maybe not exactly as Del Griffith says it in the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles that you just saw, uh, but it is something that I recently wrote about in the book um, Macabre Montreal. There's a chapter on this. So basically, Houdini died um, in a way that's not unlike the way it was explained uh, in movies such as Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, because there was a punch to the stomach involved. Uh, but the way that it happened uh, w was thus, um, and, and I got a lot of the information on the, the chapter in this book um, uh, from a book by uh, an author named Don Dell, and it was called The Man Who Killed Houdini. And it's a, a long, detailed look at the details leading up to Houdini's death, as well as the investigation into who actually killed Houdini. Now, Houdini um, was uh, punched by a McGill University student by the name of J. Gordon Whitehead. And this uh, happened on October 22, 1926 in Montreal. And Whitehead and another student had approached Houdini gone into the dressing room and we're having a discuss discussion with him. And Houdini was talking about the fact that uh, he had the ability to tense his body up in a certain way that he couldn't be injured. Um, and he could uh, receive a punch without being uh, hurt um, in certain ways. It was almost a mind over matter thing. It was a matter of being prepared. And without provocation, uh, Whitehead surprised Houdini by punching him in the gut at least twice, if not up to five times, uh, five, uh, two to five sharp blows to the gut, uh, caused a significant amount of bruising and pain. Of course, Houdini was a man who was used to um, performing when in pain, so that didn't stop him from going on stage that day. He's uh, actually performed, uh, had performed with broken ankles and things like that. He just you know, the show must go on, so he continued to perform. And, and the pain got significantly worse. Now, here's the reality of what happened is, unfortunately, um, the pain from the blows to the stomach masked the pain of under an underlying uh, issue with Houdini's appendix. He actually had appendicitis. But because he was in pain from the physical pain from the punch, nobody realized that there was actually an underlying problem going on. So Houdini and his crew got on a train after uh, they finished in Montreal. They were headed to Detroit. He was still in significant pain. He decided he was still going to go on stage. And that's when he collapsed. And he was brought to the hospital. And uh, they'd learned that his appendix had actually burst, not from the punch, but from appendicitis. And unfortunately, Houdini died on um, October 31st, Halloween, 1926. And he died of a, a basically an injury to his or ruptured uh, appendix, not from the punch, but from an underlying condition. And I'm just going to read a chapter uh, from that book here. As uh, on the afternoon of Halloween in 1926, Houdini whispered to his brother Theo, who had been standing at the man's bedside, "I'm tired of fighting, Dash. I guess this thing is going to get me." And shortly after that, he succumbed to his injuries. There continued to be debate in the medical community as to whether or not the severe blows could have caused the affliction that killed Houdini. But it's entirely possible that the pain from the punches might have masked the underlying pain from the appendicitis and inadvertently delayed the prognosis, which led to his death. And so that's the story of Houdini, Montreal, a McGill University student, and, uh, and I suppose Halloween. But in any case, I found that one of the more interesting uh, tales uh, from Montreal associated with something that we may have heard of regularly. Um, again, that was um, a fun story uh, to uncover and research and a fascinating look at some of Canada's history because there's often macabre and disturbing events that happen here in Canada. 
Well, if you are watching this from the United States, uh, you're probably in the throes of something else that's horrifying. It's Black Friday, <laughs> right after Thanksgiving. Hopefully you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, had a chance to celebrate with loved ones or just doing something that you love doing for yourself. Hope you are safe from the madness of the crazy shopping that uh, Black Friday often happens. But I hope you are in general having a wonderfully um, uh, Friday and, uh, and that you have a fantastic weekend.